Aloha kakayaka. Tea time at 10. Uh, hopefully everybody had a great weekend. Beautiful Memorial Day. Um, we're able to celebrate people that you love and uh, hopefully enjoy the people that you love right inside your home as well. Um, this weekend was a good weekend for, for me. I was able to do some rock work, um, which I was like, oh my goodness, usually I'm a little bit stronger, but I think I've been doing so much um, more refined things with my hands. Um, during this time is when I went outside to <laughs> move some pohaku and build some rock walls. I was like, ooh, I gotta bend a little bit lower with my knees. Um, but felt good, felt good on the body. Um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about braiding and, and the to-do is gonna be about braiding. Um, you know, gosh, earliest memories with braiding. I remember some of my favorite ones. Um, my great grandma, her name was Salote Fakato Wolfgram. Um, she used to braid my hair, and you know, my great grandma she had like 19 kids, you know, 100 something grandkids, and I'm um, the oldest um, great granddaughter um, of of her. And so I used to love to go to her house, and she would braid my hair, and you know, her hands were already, you know, kind of arthritic, and you know, it never hurt. Um, in uh, Tongan, I remember my, my great grandma used to say, um, like, uluma mahi. And I think that was like if your head, um, like, if it gets hurt when you're braiding. So um, she always used to tell me, you're not uluma mahi. And I used to be like, oh, I think that's a good thing. But one of my favorite braids she used to do on our my hair um, was this, like, really cool little curvy um, Dutch braid. And she used to always laugh, you know, and say, it's like the Hana Highway, you know, when she was doing our hair, but, ah, oh, man, I love it. I, and I remember when I first learned how to braid, I actually learned how to braid on my own, my own hair, because I wanted to have two French braids, and I don't even remember how I really figured it out, but it just, it just happened. Um, and I never, you know, stopped braiding. Cause I just love doing it so much. I, I feel like it's, it's methodic. I feel like it's a pattern, you know, and I, and I can just keep going. Um, when I was in college at BYU Hawaii, uh, my teacher, Na'awao Pane'e, I remember the first time he kind of brought us into like learning more and more braids. Cause I remember the first time I learned four was when we were making our own poi. Um, cause we used to dance and my mom, um, taught us how to make our own so that was the first time I learned four but when I started to get more exposed to like oh you can use more than four I was actually in college with um uncle Na'awaupane so and then you know you keep braiding and you know you go to go to fun stuff but this is something that I like to make um and you know I like to use different colors especially like when I'm teaching people how to do it um because the colors kind of help um, your mind get used to it, but I also like the patterns that the colors make. Um, so I want to, our to-do today is going to be learning how to braid now. Um, I'm sure if you know how to braid, perfect, awesome. Um, if you don't, then hopefully this will be a good little, you know, helper. So I'm going to try, hopefully you can see, thank you, Ida, for holding. Yeah, we'll go right here. Okay, so, you know, with this, you know, twist, okay? If, if you if you twist yeah then you're gonna twist for me I twist forward then backwards yeah that's my for making a twist now if you're gonna do three you can always do three um, either in going to the middle so oh, I got to turn off my notifications one then this black one come to the middle and this one come to the middle. So you're switching off with your hands. Um, if you braid backwards, uh, so that would be a French braid in your hair, uh, and then backwards, this would be like the Dutch, the Dutch braid or like the corn rolls. Okay. So same, same way forward or backwards. Okay. So now the four, the way that I um, like to set it up, if it's gonna be four, is I'll have my four different colors. Okay. So we've got brown, um, coyote brown or kind of like green, um, black, and tan. 
all right so with these with these colors now and not um with these colors now uh we'll just, we'll just move it a little bit forward yeah and oh. all right so say we're gonna have two on one side two on the other okay if we have the brown and the black on one side the, um, and this is going to be on my right. It's always going to return to the right. If you have the green and the, um, and the tan on your left, it's always going to return to your left. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see good. So for me, I like to go under. That's my preference because if I go the one that's on, so this is top for me, this is bottom and then left and right. So top right is going to be the brown i'm going to let it drop through the tan and the green that's on my left hand grab the brown bring it back and it now becomes the bottom on the right okay now this one here is going to be the tan on the top on the left hand side drop the tan grab through the black and the brown bring it back over and it becomes the bottom on the left okay so I bl black through so I, I like to go from under over and then to the bottom same thing under over to the bottom okay so if you're gonna try this you know um, I like to teach it with trying it with different colors at first just so that if like all of a sudden you know you drop you, you can still remember brown black you know green green tan um, so this is what a four braid would look like you can see it so it's like a round a round braid um, the five is gonna look like kind of um, rounded with a twist um, I'm only gonna just try and um, show you folks the the even so we'll go six <coughs> excuse me Okay, so if we've got six here, let me actually get the, the black, same color. Okay, so I'm going to, um, I love the six. If you want to see, um, this is what the six braid looks like. Okay, this is my pool, um, but it's round on the top, flat on the bottom. So I really like how it sits. Yeah, it'll sit round. Um, here we go. So. I'm gonna try and put the black on the top, on both sides, black, black, and then the brown, 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 and then the, the green, okay, green, green. Now, with the six, if you wanted to do that kind of braid, not like the centipede braid, but um, where it's gonna be flat, but the round and flat on the bottom, you can choose to do it either way, but once you choose, you gotta stick to it. So just like the four, you're going to split half and half and grab through the bottom. But um, this one is going to come either two on the top and one on the bottom or one on the top, two on the bottom. Um, I'm going to go two on top, one on bottom just so that um, you can kind of see what that looks like when you're braiding it. So in my um, right and left hand, it's still going black then brown, then green, okay? So I'm gonna drop on my right hand, drop the black on my left hand, grab from underneath, pull through, okay? This has to always return, yeah? They always return back to their same side. So now this comes over here. Oh, Ihu Matao, shout out to you, Kelly. Hope all is well at Ihu Matao, that it's not too cold and that you have plenty of firewood. Um, and also a burning continuation of a burning love for your Aina. I'm so proud of all of you folks at Ihumata, okay? So next, this, this brown, okay, on the right side, brown's going to drop, okay? Brown and green on top, black on the bottom, so two and one. Grab through and return back to your right-hand side, okay? This one on the side, now my left, left brown, drop. Okay, go between, so I'm gonna have green and the black on top, brown on the bottom, grab and bring it back to that side. So it's always gonna go back to the side. Let me try and braid a little bit further um, 
And if you guys need to, you know, reference again, hopefully that was good enough. If not, give me, contact me. I'll try and help you. Um, but just so you can see what that pattern looks like with different colors, um, here's the six, okay? So again, with those different colors, you can see where it kind of starts to get added in. Round on top, yeah, flat on the bottom, okay? So if you can see. Now the seven, the seven is kind of almost like, a little bit square triangle um, and whenever you have odds and evens you know I like the evens because it's 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 pretty much the same say for example we're gonna go seven and now we've gonna have four on one side three on the other this is fine to do you just have to remember that the four is if whatever side it's gonna be on it's always gonna stay on that side so if it's on the four on the left stay four on the left if it's three on the right stay four on the right and then I'm oh, sorry, stay three on the right, color mine. Still same thing. On the left hand, you're gonna split in between two and two. On the right hand, you're always gonna split two and one at the bottom. So for example, this is what it would look like if I started to um, kind of braid through the um, seven. So I'm gonna keep that pattern just for ease um, for you folks to be able to see. Sorry, my face keeps going out of the frame. Okay, so. Right hand, black drop, okay? So this is the side with the three. It's gonna go black, brown, green, tan, okay? Split, two on top, two on bottom. Pull through, grab it, and return it back to the same side. Okay, we're gonna keep that um, color pattern. I'm gonna drop my black on the left. Split, two on top, one on bottom, so it'll go brown, green, black from the bottom, and then come back over, returning to its same side. Okay, same thing, again, brown drop, grab through, it's gonna be brown green, black on the bottom, over. Yeah, and then one more time, it's gonna be brown on the right, drop, go between the two, come back and return. Hopefully you guys have like string or yarn or anything like shoelace, whatever, um, so that you guys can try, uh, try these out, these different braids. Um, I remember when I first learned um, in, in my class because I was taking Oh, what class was it? Implements, instruments. Um, you know, I loved BYU Hawaii because we had so many fun classes, so many awesome teachers. Um, uh, Atilina with weaving and, you know, like Uncle uh, Naowa with making this kind of stuff. Um, the thing that I love about braiding too is it's so methodical, but not only that, when you're braiding, I love to really focus on, on the patterns and the colors. I also love to focus on like, my intention of what it's gonna be used for. Um, for example, um, and I'll show you actually after my, my um, Fred Kamaka, he has his poo and he saw our poo's hanging and he's like, oh, you can make me one. I was like, bro, guarantee. So um, I use these colors for Kamaka cause you know, he's on Hanta. So why not, okay? Here you go, here's the seven where it's kind of like triangle and then round, yeah, on the side. Now we're gonna come and we'll go do an eight. So um, from what I learned from Uncle Umi Kai, uh, is eight was like one of the sacred braids, like you would have that on things that you were using for ceremony and stuff. So um, we'll go, the patterns are gonna be um, black, brown, green, tan, okay? So here we go again. Now remember, we're gonna have eight on each side. This is gonna make a square braid and, and two on top two on bottom for this break aloha auntie lynette i love you tutu good to see you on fb um and everybody else aloha nui sorry i try to look up as often as possible okay so on the right side black black is gonna drop black brown green tan split pull from the bottom and over okay next black on this side is gonna drop on the left, split, two and two, drop, grab it, pull it back to the bottom. Um, if you wanna see, again, the other braids, um, then just watch them again after this live is Paul. Okay, again, on your right side, brown, drop, brown, green, tan, black, pull through from the bottom and return back to its side, okay? So that pattern, returning back to its side is gonna keep um, the uniformity in not only the shape but also the colors you know um 
And, and the cool thing about the colors is if you do mess up, it's okay. And that's the beautiful thing about braiding. I remember when I had gone up to Mount Kea, um, I had taken quite a few of these. Like, I, you know, I always make it and give it away. If we're building Holly, you know, and, and I see somebody's interested in braiding, ooh, I get so excited. I just, you know, it, if it's a little kid, if it's a grandma, grandpa, if it's an uncle, auntie, you know, Tita Bala, I just get so excited. And I usually have these kind of attached uh, everywhere and I'll just bust them out <laughs> and then you know start to braid uh, Sonia yes you can have a personal lesson when this uncertainties is pow I got you girl um, I just wanted to keep going and braiding so you folks can see you know the pattern so again here drop the tan on my right go between the two and two on my left pull through from the bottom and return to the top yeah um, some people like to braid um, from the top. And, you know, um, because I love braiding so much, I had to learn how to braid on the neat style, uh, from the top style, um, holding it and, and showing them braiding backwards and forwards. You know, I really, um, I don't know why my brain does that, but I really love to figure out the mechanisms um, in which our, our hands, you know, uh, work. I love learning. I think my, I think I'm definitely a hands-on learner, but I really love, love, love learning through my hands. And I know that my memory, and my brain works best if my hands can be a part of the process of learning. Uh, yes, I know. Holly building, guys. Hopefully soon we can all get together again and keep building Holly because so many people want and need and our communities need it and want it. And, um, you know, hopefully one day going to have Hale all over it. every Ahupua, um, built by everybody in the Ahupua. That's that's my favorite part. Okay, so this is the eight braid. Um, let me grab that real fast. Okay, um, you know, you can do all kinds of things with this um, eight braid here. You know, um, again, if you wanted it to be on your pool, the thing that I like about this is I usually make it and I'll put a little um, a loop at the top so then you can just like, oh, you know, I don't know, where's a rock? Boom, and then you put them on and come down. Um, I also did this one um, where I kind of started in an eight braid and then I split off into two fours, you know, for my buddy. Hopefully um, I see him soon so I can give this over to him. Uh, there's some, there's tons and tons of options with braiding. Um, the, the material on this one that I used is parachute cord um, 550, but that's just because that's what we use for, for Hale and, you know, for, for anything. But to me, man, if you have a bit of aho, you, you can do almost anything, I feel like. Um, you know, you need, a, you need a rack for your truck, sure, lash it together, you know, like, oh, you need to tow something, no problem. Your shoe breaks, you know, like, slip on anything. I love <laughs> um, and being able to, you know, make stuff with our hands. Hopefully that helped you learn in our To Do Tuesday. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, give me a call and um, let me know if you need any cocoa with anything. Um, hope your week goes great. Again, you know, I'm, I'm really um, appreciating being able to celebrate our graduates and our people that are, um, you know, in, in a transformative stage in life. And I support all of you. I'm so proud of you. Keep up the good work, everybody. I'm, I'm scrolling through, you know, the social media and just looking at all the amazing people that, you know, and the, and the amazing um, things people are doing. And it just makes me so happy and so proud. So let's continue to move forward together. Uh, keep checking us out at the um, Naulu Facebook page. We're also on Twitter and we're also on um, Instagram and YouTube. Um, and, you know, let us know how you're doing. Uh, mahalo nui for tuning in today. If you've ever got one of these from me, start braiding. Go practice again. Um, love you folks. Ahui ho.